Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm actually talking about two things today. Um, I want to I want to kind of quickly touch base with you guys on what is going on with this channel, why I do what I do, um, and the future of it. The second thing I want to talk about is pricing of your knives. Now, I'm working on a big batch of knives this week, so I didn't have time to film a tutorial, a how-to video, but people ask me all the time how I price my knives and how I recommend other people uh, decide what they're going to sell their work for. So I want to talk with you guys about that. But first, I want to talk about the future of this channel. So if you guys clicked on this video, you probably know who I am and what I do. But uh, I'm a full-time knife maker. Uh, I make my complete living off of selling knives. I make, it's not from YouTube, okay? I make almost nothing from doing these YouTube videos. Uh, I primarily make these uh, just for something extra to do here in the shop, I get a ton of people over on Instagram that ask me a lot of stuff. And I kind of started this channel thinking I can direct people towards this to when people ask me how I do something, I can say, go check out this video on the process. So it's actually turned into more than what I expected. We just crossed 4,000 subscribers, which, um, I guess in the whole YouTube scheme of things, it's not that big, but I think for the kind of niche market of knife making, I think it's really cool. So I hope that I have brought some value to uh, you guys. I hope that you watch this, you've learned from it, and you have kind of bettered your skills from that. Just like how I started making knives watching YouTube videos, I hope that um, I've shared information that has helped you and you can go on and share it to other people and um, help people out. Now, the thing I want to talk about before I get into pricing your knives um, is I have gotten really busy over the last few months. Um, I used to book people out six, seven, eight weeks on orders and it's currently out to almost 20 weeks. Um, so what that means is I have less time to make these YouTube videos. I have kind of pushed myself a little too much uh, on these orders to where I haven't kind of given myself enough time to produce good videos for you guys. And if you guys have seen my videos, you know I don't take a ton of time to add a bunch of fancy stuff to it. I'm very uh, minimalistic. I want to explain to you guys how to do something, show you how to do it, and send you on the way. Uh, it's as simple as that. Now, what I decided to do, and I've seen a lot of people do this in the past. I never thought I would do this, but I made a Patreon account. Now, basically what that is, is you can sign up on this Patreon account as little as five bucks a month to just support what I'm doing. It'll hopefully make it to where I can allocate a little bit of time to making videos consistently um, for as long as I possibly can and helping you guys out however I can. A lot of these videos I've made are from people messaging me and commenting on specific things. Um, and I try to cover those and answer those questions. Now, what's kind of unique about this channel is I am not a YouTuber. I don't specifically come up with an idea to make videos for you guys for entertainment purposes. I make knives full time and I try to incorporate YouTube into that to just show the process, which I think is super valuable. Um, I think a lot of you guys do as well. And that's why I decided to do this. Um, with what's going on in the future for me, if it continues to do what it's doing, I'm not going to be able to uh, take the time away from actually building knives for customers to pay my bills to make YouTube videos because YouTube pays pretty much nothing to do what I'm doing. Um, so that's why I decided to do this. Hopefully you guys have found value in what I do and think that I'll create value in the future and all it takes is five bucks a month for you guys to sign up for the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. There's a couple different tiers, five, 10, 20. I quickly set it up. I don't know much about it, but I think that if you do find value in what I do, five bucks a month, 10 bucks a month, isn't that big of a deal um, if you wanna continue to see these videos. I'm not saying I'm gonna completely stop making these. I'm just saying my time has to go towards what's producing income. 
um, and YouTube isn't that. So anyways, you guys, if you do decide to subscribe, um, I'd really appreciate it. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description of this video. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I, I want to also provide some value with that. And, and um, if you do subscribe, I'll always answer. I do it anyways, even if you don't subscribe to this. Any questions you guys have, I try to answer all of them. Um, and I'll give you my phone number. I'll give you whatever if you have any specific questions. So, okay, enough about that. Let's get into pricing your work uh, to be able to afford to do it and be happy to do it. So, as you guys know, I've made knives full-time for the last few years. I started off part-time uh, learning it, and it just turned into a lot more than what I ever expected. And now here we are. I make knives full-time in my garage, and I'm really happy to do it. I actually feel really uh, fortunate to be able to do it. So, a lot of people either message me on Instagram or comment in these videos on what they would like to see in future videos and something that people have asked a lot and I've just had a hard time with it is how to price their work. Um, so that's why I wanted to kind of touch base on it today and get some feedback from you guys as well um, on how you do it. But at least from my point of view, I've always kind of, at least since I got to where I'm making quality work, um, I've kind of made my process work a little more efficiently. I do it kind of hourly plus materials. And I think that one thing that people do too much is they try to nickel and dime things um, with people. And I don't think that's the way to do it. I at least try not to do that. I am pretty simple with my pricing and that's worked out good for me. Now, when you're starting out, which a lot of you guys are probably, um, I think it's really important to take into consideration that what you're doing, you're probably not doing it at an efficient level. Um, when you're first starting out making knives, you put so much time into certain things and it's because you just don't have uh, the process down yet and all this stuff. So um, when I first started, I was selling knives super cheap if you take it on your hourly rate, you know. Um, I think that that is important to kind of take note on is you can't start off this hobby, whatever you want to call it, and charge what somebody's been doing it for five or six years. It just probably won't work because you're going to have a lot of time <laughs> into it uh, compared to that person. I've got a whole shop full of tools that make it to where I can do things at a really efficient level. And I'm doing, you know, a lot of times 10 knives at a time to keep my time management uh, as efficient as possible, I guess, okay? So for new guys, I like to say you're gonna have to eat a little bit to, you're gonna have to kind of eat your time a little bit to be able to grow your brand. And uh, it really depends on what you wanna do, I guess. If you want to turn your knife making into a career, which I don't recommend it, <laughs> um, if you already have a good job, if you have, you know, all this stuff, uh, it'll be hard to, do that. But if that's what you're trying to do, sorry, I'm not trying to discourage you. Um, I just, it's a lot of work. Um, if you want to grow as a knife maker and turn it into even, let's say, a side hustle, I think that you need to sell your knives at a spot where people are buying them and they think it's a value. They see your work and they it's providing value to that person. They see you're a new knife maker. Your work is probably worth more than what you're going to sell it for. And that's okay to build your brand. Um, I sold a lot of knives looking back for a lot less than what I'm selling them for now to get your work out there and to kind of build that experience. Um, I don't want to let this video run forever because I could talk about this for probably an hour um, but I was speaking with, actually, he's a buddy, buddy of mine that's a knife maker. And that's what kind of sparked my thought on doing this video. Um, and he said, man, you know, we were talking about pricing a little bit. And he actually said that what I was charging was cheap. And if you guys, you probably have, you've looked at my work, you've probably seen my pricing. I don't really consider it cheap. Um, I think that it's, fair and and how I have decided on that is 
kind of by seeing what my pricing is at and where the demand for my work is at. So if I charged twice is what I twice as much as what I'm charging right now. So say I normally sell a knife for 300, I decided tomorrow I'm gonna sell it for 600. The demand for my knives would go down, um, I would be less busy, and would my business shut down? Maybe not, but I, since I'm doing this full time, I need to have some job security is what I would call it. I need to have orders constantly coming in and I need to have orders on the books or else um, I'll run into some problems. So <laughs> that's how I kind of go off pricing. I say the demand, you have to meet the demand. If you are a new knife maker and you're promoting and advertising and doing all this stuff and trying to sell knives and you have 10 knives sitting there that aren't selling, you need to look at your pricing a little bit and realize that it's either too high or you're not marketing it properly. Um, if you're a new knife maker and you can't keep up, you're selling all your knives, everybody wants them, then you need to up your price. That's kind of a really good way of doing it. And now I think that if you want to look at this as an hourly kind of thing, you can do it that way. If you want to look at it as a uh, comparing it to what you normally make, I think that's something you have to do as well, like your time. And that, that's what kind of transitioned me into becoming a full-time knife maker is it got to where <clears throat> my time was better spent making knives than what it was at my other job. Plus, I enjoy it a lot more. So you there's like i said there's a lot of variables and that's why uh, i haven't done a video on this and i think that this video is kind of a ramble rant kind of thing but um it might help some people and that's why i wanted to put it out okay so i didn't want this video to be a long rant and I'm, i tried to just touch base on what i think when people ask me what they should price their knives at i uh it's a, like I said, it's a really hard subject to talk about and it's really hard. One kind of size doesn't fit all on this whole thing. So I think you have to not ask everybody else what to do. You need to look at it for yourself and decide what makes sense for you. If you're trying to build a brand and turn this into something more than a hobby, then you need to charge what makes you happy and if you're not selling your knives for that price point and you're marketing them properly, then you need to look back at your work and make sure it's up to standard for the pricing you're charging. Um, it is a really hard thing and I think that it has taken me a lot of time to figure it out and um, you know, it doesn't come overnight. I think that's what you guys need to understand. So. I don't know. I think I kind of covered this as good as I possibly can in as short amount of time as I can. If you guys have any questions on this, feel free to comment below or send me a message over on Instagram. Uh, pricing is a tricky subject and that's all there is to it. So hopefully you learned something. If not, sorry, <laughs> but I do the best I can. Um, I'm going to continue to get out a video a week for you guys, hopefully. And um, I keep trying to up my game. When I learn something new, I try to share it with you guys. So again, it would mean a ton to me if you'd go check out that Patreon page. Uh, hopefully some of you guys appreciate what I do and have maybe found value in what I'm doing. So I've got, I don't even know how many videos I've put out now, guys. Maybe 60, 70, 80 videos. Um, all on super specific things. And what I'm starting to do is go back through those and create new videos on my updated ways of doing things. Now that I've really got my efficiency on point um, for a lot, a lot more processes. So I'm gonna continue to do that. And also you guys drop comments on what you would like to see in future videos on me covering. You know, I'd love to cover more on the business aspect of this because that's something that these knife making YouTube channels uh, don't really have the experience with. And that's something that, again, I think I can provide some value in that aspect of things. So anyways, okay, sorry guys, long video, but uh, hopefully it helped. All right, have a good one.